Next time it's fine. Next time it's fine. Any work in these parts for a man who's not too particular what he does? I wouldn't be knowing. I've done a lot of Maverick, Brandon, and it might be a good hand to have around, Mr. Varno. I still say I wouldn't be knowing. Pretty fair horses, well. Huh? Like to make a deal? There's a white stallion among them. He's worth what I'm asking. Why don't you come out to my place and take a look at him? Thanks, Duke, but I like to do my horse trading in daylight when I'm sure I can see the brands. <laughs> you can bring this stallion in. Put him in my stable and I'll make a deal in the morning. Fine. Stranger, you say your name's Brand? Aloysius Brand McGee, that's me. Bring your arms over here at the table. I'd like to give them a look. Uh, would you mind letting me have that arm, bud? Saving a special bottle for just such an occasion. Step up, it's on the house with my compliment. Thanks, but I'm not interested. What I want is the man that raided my ranch and ran off with some of my horses, and among them, my white stallion. And you're the one I'm looking for. I'd know you anywhere with that vest. Hey, lady, are you accusing me of rustling your horses? I'm doing just that. Now, is that friendly, accusing one of my best customers of being a horse thief? I was just making a deal on that horse. You're not buying my horse, mister, or any other stock rustled off of my land. What outfit do you own? I'm Molly Dawson. I bought the Thompson Ranch. <laughs> well, you ain't got a ranch, ma'am. You got a liability. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again, too. Since I moved on to that place two months ago, I've had nothing but trouble from rustlers. First my cattle taken, and now my horses. And this man... To hear Miss Dawson. I can vouch everyone here. They're all hard-working boys. I know them all. Except those three strangers who only rolled in here tonight. Maybe they know something about it. It wasn't them. It was you. And you're going to give me back my horses and my white stallion. Look, how can I when I haven't got them? You're a liar! Get out of here! There won't be a drink left in the house! Let her alone. You'd better go. Get out.
pound coyotes coming in here interfering with a man's business. Well, they're ruining my 45. See, I've got irons to sell. Shut up! Barno. Look. The devil's brand. How did this card get here? I don't know. Me neither. Well, if one of you didn't put it there, who did? Only the four of us know the brand of the devil and what it stands for. This is the card we left at the bank job in Cedar Canyon. So you don't think we put the brand of death on ourselves, do you? Maybe Brandon Iron McGee did it. He took a hand in the fight. Those other two strangers. If it was one of them, it means that they've trailed us from Cedar Canyon to put our own brand on us. One of us is marked. Maybe all of us. Be Molly now. Well, Molly, where? Oh, Rose. Oh, Henry. This is my housekeeper, Mrs. Plummer. How do you do? How do you my do? Foreman, Mr. Wilburn. Hi, Mr. Uh, uh, Wyatt's my name, and my friend's M. Steele. Glad to know you, Mr. Wyatt. Thank Mr. You. Steele. How do you do? Mrs. Plummer had me worried. She said some rustlers run off with some of our horses and the white stallion. I was just starting out to see what happened to you. I don't know, Steele. Mr. Wyatt had to come to my rescue. Did you find the horses? No. How long in one spot? Well, my foreman's offer stands. Anytime you want to come to work. Oh, good night. And thanks again. Thank you, Miss Dawson. I hope you get your stallion back. Don't worry, I'll get him back. Good night, Mr. Wilbur. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night ma'am. mess you made the thing. You wasn't happy busting my jaw, but you had to darn near run my best 45 shooting it out of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I imagine Captain Wyatt will see that you get a new one. Sure, and things worked out better than we'd hoped. Your play put you in solid with Varno, Panhandle. In fact, you're one of them. I ain't keen about that. But when they found that card with the devil's pitchfork on it, they all turned green. <laughs> Said it was a mark of death. Somebody had a mark. <laughs> And that somebody happens to be three rangers. Right. Well, it looks like uh, we've not only caught up with the Devil's Brand Gang, but we found out they're doing business the same old way. Still rustling. Be nice if we could find that big herd they rustled out of Cedar Canyon. That's where you come in, Panhandle. You stick with them. We'll put up at the hotel and you can check with us there. Yeah, and you better not ride in with us. Well, I'll be happy to lose your company just outside of town. <laughs> Did you see who brought that white horse in here? Yeah, a fellow we call Duke. Wears a leather vest. They not only steal the horse, but the saddle that goes with him. Hey, what are you aiming to do? Saddle my horse and ride him home. Oh, I wouldn't do that, lady. Why don't you get the law after the fellow that stole him? A lot of good the law does. 
Why, in two months, Russell's have taken most of my cattle. I've complained. I've even written to the rangers asking for help. And do they show up? They do not. From now on, I'm taking the law into my own hands. And if they want to stop me, just let them try it. I know just how you feel, lady. I'm always messed up with the law one way or another. I wouldn't be surprised. Wait a minute. What do I have to do to convince you two boys I don't want your business? So that's the way it is, huh? That's right. After last night's little breaking up party, I think we're all going to get along better if you two keep out. What's the matter? Can't your boys stand on their feet after a little fight? They're standing up all right. Let her go. Well, doggone you. You two seem to be mighty interested in other people's business. Just aiming to be fair play, that's all. Then you're just in time to see me get back a horse I bought. You mean my horse that you brought from this horse thief? You think that's her horse? Take a look at that brand. Well, from the looks of this, it could be anybody's horse. Right now, it looks as if he'd had two different irons. Are you going to let them take him? Well, there's not much anybody can do, unless you can prove he's yours. Say, I'd like to give you two a friendly tip. Keep out of my business, and you'll live longer. You know, I didn't like you when I first saw you. And right now, I like you less, because I think that horse belongs to Miss Dawson. Hold it. All right, mister. If that's the way you want it, you'll get it. When I'm ready. After that warning, we'll be sure and keep our backs away from you. Get going. You'll get your horse back. You bet I will. But after what's just happened, I can see it won't be through you two. Well, you might have known Panhandle had something in mind when he took a swing at you with that iron. Got an order for some special brand that might need some help.
Bucko, take him back to the stable. Come on in, the rest of you. Wilbur, what's the matter with you? Haven't I told you to keep out of here as much as possible? I know you did, but there's something I've got to tell you. That Dawson girl I'm working for is from the Barney Ranch over in Cedar Canyon. What? Are you sure? Certainly I'm sure. She's the niece of Jim Dayton, the guy we... Oh, know. shut up. Say, if I'd known that, I never would have touched her horses. Maybe she's here to put the law on us. Yeah. Now, what's the use of taking him to the stable? Barney will just be riding again. I'm going to loosen the cinch and just let him rest. Well, that's what I always do. See one too. Take a look at that. Where'd you get that? Found it under the saddle blanket when I loosened the cinch on that white stallion. The Dawson girl was riding that horse. Where did we leave this one? Left it in the line shack at the Bar M Ranch when we took care of old Jim Dayton. Say, that means she knows who we are. We've got to get out of here, or she'll have us all in jail. Not so fast. We have a thousand head of cattle hidden in Painted Canyon. We're not letting them slip through our fingers. Let me think. I'll figure a way out of this. How are you going to do it, Varno? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Wilburn, we'll need you. And some of those special irons that Fancy Brand McGee makes. Ripper, see if Mr. McGee is out front. Bring him in. Sure. Pan while I'm alone. Yeah, to get onto you? No, they bought all my arms and then just run off and left me. I was trying to keep up with them in the wagon, but they went over that way. Stay here, we'll be back. down there. That's what I'm interested in finding out. They wouldn't happen to be any friends of yours, would they? Well, we can tell you better after we get a look. We wouldn't be knowing any of them. Well, whoever they are, they're busy with a hot iron. That cattle they're working on happens to be mine. I'm Jeff Palin. My ranch adjoins the old Thompson place, the one that the Dawson girl bought. And that sure looks like her down there bossing the rustlers. Kind of bad business for a girl to get mixed up in. It looks like her all right. Ever since she moved on that place, people have been losing cattle. But they're not going to get away with any of my stock. You'd be doing me a favor if you'd keep an eye on them while I go to town for the sheriff. I'd be glad to. like Molly Dawson's kind of giving us the runaround. Yeah, it sure does, all right. I think we'd better get her and find out just what... Every man for himself, and me to a town!
nice little game you played, Wilburn. From a distance, anybody would say you were Molly Dawson. So you run a few hot irons in case someone does say you gets the blame. Why, Tex, that's no way to treat a lady. Why, Wilbur, you really embarrassed me the way you came off of that horse head over heel. Oh. Let's tie him up and put him in the wagon. Yeah, and we'll keep Mr. Wilburn out of sight for the time being. We don't want the sheriff to get his hands on him just yet. Go on. A group of jolly cowboys discussing plans at ease. There's one, I'll tell you something, if you will listen, please. He is an old cow puncher, and here he's dressed in rags. He used to be a tough one and take on great big jags. But he has got a homeboy, a good one you all know. Although he has not seen it since long ago. He's going back to Dixie's more to see them all. Other when the work's all done this fall. That very night this cowboy went out to stand his guard. The night was dark and cloudy and storming very hard. The cattle, they got frightened and rushed in wild stampede. The cowboy tried to head him riding at full speed. While riding in the darkness, loudly did he shout, trying his best to head him and turn the herd about. His saddle horse did stumble and on him did fall. Now he won't see his mother when the work called him this fall. What do you want me to do with Wilburn? Drive into town the back way and keep hidden until we get back. Yeah, and be sure and keep him out of sight. Miss Molly. It's a neighbor of yours, Jeff Palin. Miss Dawson. How are you? Well, not so good to tell you the truth. I saw some rustlers on my place today, and one of them looked like you. Well, if it wasn't me, Mr. Palin, I wouldn't know how to rustle cattle. No? Well, when we rode up, I noticed your horse outside was pretty powerful head up. Where have you been? I've been riding fence. Someone cut my wires last night. Mr. Palin says he has witnesses to back up his charge. Have you got anything to say to that? Well, Mr. Palin and his witnesses need glasses to see with. Why, I've been fixing my fence since daylight. Well, Sheriff, these are the two men who were with me when I saw her rustling my cattle. Is that right? Well, we saw some rustling, all right. Uh, but we wouldn't be too sure it was Miss Dawson here. Of course you couldn't be sure. Well, how could I be riding five miles of fence and at the same time be rustling cattle on some other ranch? Well, I'm sure. Well, maybe she can prove she was riding fence as she says. She couldn't be in two places at one time. Sheriff, I know she was with that gang of rustlers. Listen, other parts of the country we had women at the head of a gang of rustlers. Why shouldn't she be? Well, what are you waiting for, Parker? Well, it's up to you, Jeff. Guess you'd better come along with us, Miss Dawson. You two are a great help. First you let them take my horse from me, and now you help them to arrest me for cattle rustling. Thanks. A lot. I want to talk to you two later at the jail. Ah, uh, we were figuring on coming into town anyway, Sheriff. Yeah, jails always did interest us.
Hey, there's Brandon Arn McGee. It's a good thing we didn't take him with us. He'd have never gotten away in that wagon of his. Yeah. Hey, there they are alone. Looks like Wilbur gave him a run for their money. And made it, too. Hey, you're sure lucky you didn't go with us. Lucky nothing. I was minding my own business, and they darn near grabbed me. <laughs> well, I'll be a war-eyed toad if it ain't the sheriff. He's got Molly Dawson. Barno! Come out there, quick! What are the charges, Sheriff? Horse stealing? No, cattle rustling. And I might add, Varno, it's the beginning of the fall roundup. Try and make that charge against Miss Dawson's stick. Yeah. What do you think we ought to do? We'll wait till Panhandle gets away from those buzzards. He'll give us the lowdown. We're heading 20 miles out of my way getting here. Forget it. Come on inside, all of you. Because after dark, one of us has got a little job to do. for the boys today. I'll have some more work for you in a day or two. Here's a little extra for you. So long, Al. Well, thanks. I'll be hanging around, waiting for you. I told you a little while ago, one of us has a job to do. We cut the cards to see which one gets it. takes it on. Understood? Low card, huh? Suits me. Go ahead. Deuce of spades. <laughs> Looks like I'd do it. What's the job? That lets you two boys out. From here on, it's between Bucko and myself. Two strangers that made a play in here last night with the Dawson girl and stepped in on our branding today are rangers. Well, I've never seen one before. Well, if they are, then one of them could have left the devil's brand. But how'd they get on our trail? What do you think? The Dawson girl. That's your job tonight. Silence her once and for all. Get it? Make sure she's not alive tomorrow to talk to those rangers. taking care of a man, but I couldn't shoot a woman locked in a cell. Are you forgetting you have a cut and that hundred thousand in the safe? The Rangers like to get their hands on that, too. Yeah, I know. I know I just couldn't shoot a woman. I wouldn't mind taking care of those two you call Rangers. Well, I'll blast them right now if you say so. Oh, but a woman. Get out. I'll 
do it myself. Henry Wilbur. Well, sure it is. And he's dead. How'd he get in here? Those two strangers brought him in. Identified themselves as rangers. Nothing for me to do but put him in there. They took the Dawson girl with them. Said they'd have company for him in a day or so. Beats me why anybody would want to kill Wilbur. The rangers said that Carol Rosslyn wasn't his worst crime, though. Well, I, I wouldn't be knowing that, that much about him. killer. All we have to do is find the Devil's Brand Gang. That card proves that they've moved in here. Ever seen one like that? That's the same card the gang used around Cedar Canyon whenever they pulled a job there. Yeah, we've heard of them. And with the Rangers here, it won't take long to put an end to them. You'd better come along with me and see if we can find them. heard about Wilbur. It's too bad. It's too bad for those star packers that put him in that cell. Yeah, sure is. Yeah, I'm gonna look at him. Say, how do we know but what he ain't one of them? Well, we'll soon find out now that the other two are out in the open. Well, if he is a ranger, well, we'll take care of him along with the other two. waiting to get us. It's going to be the other way. We'll get them first. We'll take Brand and Iron in on our plane. You'll tell the Rangers. When they walk into our trap, that'll be their finish. Duke, this is the way you'll bait the trap. You better leave us, Panhandle. Your friend Bucko hasn't taken his eyes off of us since you got here. See what their next move is and let us know. Sure. Hey, Bucko. Those two rangers in town, things are getting warm. We've got enough cattle now to pull out. Get word to the boys with the herd. Tell them we'll meet them at the old cabin in the Cottonwoods. Yeah, but Verno, some of them cattle have got fresh brands on them. Do as I say. Well, all right. You're the boss.
We've got them dead to rights, the whole kit and caboodle. What are they up to? They know you're rangers and you're moving out with the cattle. Where are they getting together? We want the herd as well as them. Well, Varno told them to get word to the boys with the stock to meet them at the cabin in the old cottonwoods. So Mr. McGee is a ranger. Smart one, too. Fell for our trap hook, line, and sinker. Hey, this is easy. If they're fixing to the move, they may take a last shot at Miss Dawson. Most likely blame her for our being here. You better get out to the ranch and stand by. We'll take care of the cattle situation. Go get out to the cabin and take care of those rangers. Duke, you come with me. We'll pick up a couple of the boys, and this time we'll make sure that the Dawson girl don't bother us anymore. Well, there ain't nothing about it. The boys will be back soon. Say, that sounds like them coming now. Hey, what are you going on now? Say, <laughs> this ain't gonna work. We gotta make a break for it out the back way. I don't let them see me. You head for town, get the sheriff, and meet us at the cabin in the cockpit. Right. Wait a minute. Why should you take this chance? Because you've got to identify a barn. Tax and Jim catch him. Come on. Get that gun. What's the idea? Don't you like company? That's why the reception, Rangers. Oh, so you know who we are. Sure. How far do you think you're going to get with this? Well, far enough that you're not going to cause me any loss of sleep. Now get over there and face the wall. Even 
the brand of the devil around gave you away. Gave you away too, Varno. In fact, it brought us here. Yeah, and there's a company of rangers following along behind us. Well, they won't find me when they get here. Two, three won't be of much help to them. We'll get the hell out of the Painted Canyon. When we get them underway, I'll double back and take care of things at the saloon. I'll see you over the line. All right. Say, what am I going to do with these rangers? You've got slugs for your gun, haven't you? Well, sure. Well... Here, use these. Save the lid. If you run short, there's a couple more for you. You're gonna do something, let's get it over with. If there's anything I hate, it's waiting around for something to happen. Well, you seem to be in an awful hurry to leave this world. I ain't got no intentions of leaving it. You ain't? Not a bit. <laughs> you three will be on your way just as soon as I can make up my mind how to do it. I hate to waste lead. Well, Bucko, you might drop us down the well. I can do that. No. Well, in the first place, there ain't no water in it, and second place, I ain't got a well. Oh, that, that's too bad. Uh, how about hanging it? Yeah. No, I ain't got enough rope. Oh, you, you can use these ropes. That's an idea. Turn around. Oh, no, you don't. I'm too smart for that. I got to do a little more thinking. See ya. Relax. This will help me think. Tune, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was a little sour. Can't you do something besides just plunk that thing? You know any tune? Yeah. Uh, old oaken bucket. How about uh, high old paint? Oh, I reckon I could follow it. Why do you say? Well, I can try. Let it hit. Well, I've got to go. Keeping Bucko, but you can be sure of one thing, we'll be back for you. And that's more than you can say for your pal Varno, or for any part of that dough you've got coming for me safe. Oh no. 
Do you really think Barno double crossed me? <laughs> well, hey, do you? If you ever get a look inside that safe, you'll find out. If he ever does. And don't you worry about all those cattle in Painted Canyon. We'll take care of them. Say, hey, how do we know where the cattle are? I know a shortcut into that canyon. We'll take it and hope Molly Dawson gets to the sheriff in time for help. I think we're going to need her. and give him a hand, Duke. The quicker we get him underway and across the line, the better for all of us. You said it, Varno. They've got us outnumbered. We can ride straight into them with plenty of lead. Well, that'll start a stampede. What's wrong with that? Getting out of town now. Duke, get a saddlebag and put everything in. We better walk from here. This will be the first thing those rangers look into. Get the explosives from the back room. Hurry, quick, we have much time. Why no, I don't get it. When I'm through with the safe, whoever opens it will never know what hit him. No. Reach. 
You've reached the end of the trail, Varnell. You're under arrest. For what? You have no evidence. How are you going to prove a case against me? From the look on your face when we came in here, the evidence is in that safe. Yeah, $100,000 of it from the bank at Cedar Canyon. Now open it. Are you going to open it or do we? Get back. Safe. I'm afraid that's something none of us will ever be able to answer, Sheriff. Well, that's two rustling members of the Devil's Brand Gang that won't have to stand trial. Here's one you can take care of. Yeah, and his friend Bucko's waiting for you out in the cabin. Goodbye, old pain. I'm a leaving shy. 